Chambers' journey was one of remarkable service and dedication to Uganda's history and development. At Chambers' ancestral home in Bugembe Town, Ginger North Division, mourners are yet to arrive, but preparations are ongoing. The former minister has been eulogized as an exemplary leader who offered advice to many during the most challenging times. He had this wide knowledge of having worked in government, uh, having served the public, not only at, the, at, at uh, the country level, but also at the international level. A father, but a very, very, very distinguished statesman. I join the rest of the country, His Excellency the President, and the rest of the country to mourn him and honor our colleagues. Chamber, who began his career as a civil servant, found himself gradually drawn into politics through his interactions with politicians. His home in Jinja is adorned with photographs, each carrying a unique story of his incredible journey. And that's my nephew, mm. oh, uh, Alfred Nabeta. Chamber served as a principal private secretary to President Apollo Milton Obote. He retained the role even when Ida Min overthrew Obote. He also held positions as secretary to the cabinet, permanent secretary in the office of the president and in the patient's authority. In 1971, he was sent on leave. He was recalled in the same year to serve as the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Culture and Community Development. In 1972, Idamin fired the Minister of Culture and Community Development and appointed Chamber as a substantive minister on the same day. And he said, uh, Chamber, you, 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 you called. I said, yes, I did, because uh, I've got a graduation ceremony here. But the minister who is supposed to preside has been sacked. The the next response I got, instruction I got from the uh, president, I mean, was, you are the minister, T take over. That's how I became minister of culture and community development. I never applied for the job. A year later, Chamber was appointed as a minister of health where he served from 1973 to 1977 when he fled to exile. He returned from exile in the 1980s and became the state minister for animal industry in President Museveni's government from 1989 to 1991. From 1991 to 1994, he served as the state minister for agriculture and subsequently as the minister for presidency from 1994 to 1996. Chamber was a member of the Constituent Assembly that wrote the 1995 Constitution. In 2005, he opposed the scrapping of the presidential age limit from the Constitution through a Constitution Amendment. Chamber is also well known for his book titled The State of Blood, the inside story of Ida Min, which he authored while in exile. The book describes Amin's tyrannical rule from 1971 to 1979. Details of Chamber's burial program have not been announced. Nobat Atkunda, NTV News.